firstly, if someone's homeless, they tend to not have a lot of identification with them. And, you know, really there needs to be a step where they're supported to actually get ID and in the process of getting ID actually have some sort of shelter. Um, and, you know, the guidance for homeless assessments is that, you know, you kind of take them at their word. So yes, there are some people who are gonna say, oh yeah, I've been in this bar for 10 years and you've never spotted me. And you know, they are trying to pull the wool over your eyes, but nonetheless, they are still vulnerable. So I think they should be supported and handheld to get at least an ID and temporary roof and, you know, not just sent back into the world to find a charity to do that for them because that's why they remain on the streets and that's why they think there isn't um, proper access for them to get to a service. So I think there needs to be a lot more handholding for homeless people. Um, well, a lot of the sort of like shelters where they do offer, you know, a meal and a shower, um, DWP, in the past have attended those as outreach. So really kind of just mingling with um, the homeless community, um, really taking a vested interest in what their stories are and looking at creative ways of engaging with them. So even if it is a 10 minute talk about um, things like retirement pension, for instance, that many homeless people have worked for a lot of years, but never claimed any pension. So just have a session on, you know, you are entitled and we can support you in certain slots, but be creative about the way they, you know, approach um, homeless people. But yeah, having a bit more outreach. It definitely wouldn't be online it would definitely be a face-to-face -face type of assessment. Um, just like when the rich claim their tax, they have a tax specialist who tells them what to put in each section, how to word it, what language to use. I think that benefits should work in the same way. It's not a payment for life, but at least give people um, a step up, hold the hand. The, the language is not normal language. We wouldn't use it if we were telling a friend how to save in a bank account. So let's change the language and support people of different levels to actually access it. Uh, they need adequate training and part of that training, it would be great if they actually liaised with the local authority and sat in, um, some of the homelessness assessments um, actually went into the some of the homeless um, cafes, etc., just as part of their general induction. So even if they don't understand every homeless situation, they have a realistic grasp of what the barriers can be, and then they wouldn't be very flippant with, you know, the advice they give, oh, come back when you've got passport, or, you know, <laughs> we can't speak to you until we've seen some ID. Do you have a driver's license? You know, well, no, I'm homeless, and I've been homeless for a number of years. You know, get, let them have a clearer understanding of what the barriers could be and what the solutions can be. So therefore they can be a lot more empathetic because a lot of the time it is just about being empathetic. You know, explaining that, yes, we can't assess you without ID and it is gonna take six weeks until that ID comes through, but this is a process we'll need to go through. And this is what you can do in the meantime, or these are the places that we're aware of that will provide the support that you as an individual need and treat that person as an individual as well. Don't treat them like we're talking about homeless people. Talk about that individual, Tom, Harry, and call them by their name. Allow them to have an identity. 
and even if they do have substance misuse issues and they're begging for money and they're trying to get a collection together to take drugs, you don't have to give them money. You can give them food, you can give them a blanket, you can give them the address of the local um, soup kitchen. But one thing that I don't advise is to ignore them because when and if you end up in that situation, it's a very painful place to not have a voice and not be considered. You, you know, you've had a situation that's put you on the street. It doesn't mean you're no longer human. Homeless people, they, they just don't have a roof over their head, but anything you can do to help someone, one tiny step, one little gesture is enough. Don't give up. 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 No matter what.